Today's video is a compilation of a couple of autopilot related bugs I've seen. So the first one is new in 2019.8.3 and then the rest are from earlier before I decided to do uh, the rest are from earlier before I started uh, not cutting out the travel parts of the videos and uh, so I just wanted to, to share them with you. So the first one is, is a little weird to me. There's this, it sounds like there's a speaker at the base of the steering column. So that's up first and then I'll play the others. Catch you on the flip side. Another new behavior. The autopilot computer has another speaker in the steering column, it sounds like. Which, I don't think that's quite accurate. But during the computer restart, uh, I managed to steer out of autopilot and it made a sound. So that's unique. I'm going to try it again. Okay, it's rebooting. All right, everything's off. Like that. <laughs> that is so weird. I right, start autopilot again. No. There we go. Uh, get out of autopilot. Look at that. <laughs> I don't know what it's using to do that. All right, so no confirmation, but a anti-confirmation. Alright, no sound there. Still no sound. Alright, now it's back to the speakers. So weird. Here's an anomaly. Autopilot actually is seeing stuff, but it's not displaying it on the screen. And so... So you don't know what the car is up to. Okay, this is an odd behavior from Autopilot. It claims to not be able to see anything, but it's perfectly willing to drive and follows the speed limits and even changes lanes, even though it says it can't see anything. It will not offer uh, navigation on autopilot on the on the map. So, I don't know. I'm kind of afraid to try a reset with this, because it actually works, but uh, there's no pictures. It, it slows down for cars that are around me. I haven't tried to change lanes with a car behind me to see what happens, but um, it, it, it does slow down for the cars in front of me. So this is a very unique behavior. This is just further proof that the computers on this car are completely separated from each other. Um, after we pulled off the highway, it now says that I'm doing 56 miles an hour and regenerating aggressively with the brakes on, even though none of that is actually happening. So I am about to do a touchscreen reset and see uh, if everything comes back normally. We shall see. Got you on the flip side. And this is what it looks like on the on the uh, multifunction uh, display. It's just frozen. The music stopped. That's how I came to notice that everything was gone. Um, the sound for the turn signals is gone, but uh, several Tesla people on Twitter have uh, assured us the turn signals do work. Uh, and I've verified this myself behind a reflective surface, but uh, there are none of those right now to show you that it is actually working. It'll take a minute before I can make a video with that for you guys. Basically, because it requires just circumstance and chance. But yeah, so everything is frozen. But the car still functions. We're driving down the road. Accelerate, brake. Everything's fine. Oh, and thankfully the air is still running because uh, sometimes when the computer is messed up, the, the air does not go, <laughs> which is loads of fun. Um, Usually though, when, when the air is out, it, it's typically just stuck on whatever it was last set to. Except for if you get stuck in a reboot loop, that's, that's fun. Because uh, during the start of the reboot, it kills the air. And in the middle of summer, that's, that's loads of fun. All right, catch you on the next time. Everything came back immediately on, uh, on restart, so. Just a cool, weird fluke. Oh, also the vision system and the uh, the the, the uh, ultrasonics, everything, they were back immediately, even before the multifunction display had come back, the center screen there. Okay, so shortly before we got to Augusta today, the autopilot computer did something really weird. 
well, actually probably pretty natural for it, but what was weird was the timing. So what happened was we had autopilot going and then next thing you know, I had the, uh, the takeover now, it was straight on the highway. There was no logical, obvious reason as to why I would be taking over. Um, I was already holding the wheel, so it just kind of like wiggled and it's like, hold the wheel, take over now. And then all the display went away, like the car couldn't see the lines or anything. And then my high beams came on. So I was like, all right, well, obviously it's something to do with the sensing system. So I went ahead and called Tesla, Tesla support and I asked them to read the logs and tell me what happened. And then I told the guy, I said, hey, it felt like the autopilot computer rebooted. And he then proceeded to tell me that yes, he had run a diagnostic and that is exactly what had happened. The autopilot computer had turned off and turned back on. And he says that's something that should only really happen when you're not in the car, but sometimes it happens while you're driving. So I'm wondering if perhaps it's on anomaly or who knows. Uh, shortly before that, I had restarted the main computer and that was because that computer had lost cell service, even though we were in a very strong AT&T cell area. AT&T is the main provider for uh, network services for Tesla in North America, or in the United States. And so I checked it, and I had full signal on, the, on one of the phones, and uh, went ahead and did that, and restarted the computer. First it turned off the dash cam, of course. And then when it came back, everything was fine. The car drove the whole time with the, um, the screens blanked out, it passed a car, it did everything it was supposed to do. And then about five or 10 minutes after the computer came back is when the autopilot computer decided it wanted to also restart itself. So I'm wondering if whatever freaked out my main computer and the, um, and the, and the, and the modem had also caused the autopilot computer to freak out along with it. But uh, just a little something for this, uh, this Tesla Oddities playlist for you to ponder on. Uh, if I if happen to catch it doing it again, I will try to catch it on video. It did do it uh, one other time before the recent update while I was leaving work for home. And it's like it, was already, it had already decided to restart and I decided to get in the car and go home. And I just happened to catch it at the tail end because by the time I got to the public roads out of the parking lot, uh, it had resumed the ability to do its business. But that's it for now. Okay, so on my way home today, I noticed something weird. Let's take a look at it real quick. So my center screen got super bogged down and my speedometer screen, the binnacle, did not. And the music stopped and the GPS updated once every minute or so. And I was about to do a reset on it but it restarted itself. So just the, the center screen restarted. I've had the computer get bogged down before and it restarted them both. But it's been since my last Tesla where I've only had the center screen restart by itself because on these newer Intel-based Model S and Model X, uh, both screens are powered by the same Intel processor. So I'm guessing whatever functions control the center screen gave up and the watchdog restarted it, which was pretty neat.